back again master built cake freezer locked up compressor uh, previous video uh, lock rotor amps pulling 98 amps won't start obviously trips the breaker so uh, system was out of gas so I recovered the last little bit that was in the receiver uh, which is why we're all frosted up through there uh, I've got Schrader's out system opened up I'm going to pull this Schrader because, again, we're going to have to torch this, torch that. So we don't want to melt down any of the gaskets. This is a pain. I don't love that that's right there. So I'm just going to wet rag all this. Unsweat that. I've got the electrical taken off. I took lots of pictures before I started even though I shouldn't need them um, yeah just take lots of photos before you get rolling nothing worse than getting into it and getting distracted and then going oh man which was which so, but I mean it's it's the exact plug-and-play compressor so this should be easy peasy we'll see you know it's 449 unit let's get her going I actually took my grinder and I cut that at the compressor because this was just so big and I was having such a hard time getting it to heat and pull out with the weight of the compressor. This way I can just grab it with a pair of pliers, heat it, pull it out. All right, so I'm gonna do my best. I've got some of the heat block putty on there. You can see this I've cleaned it, but there's a little dollop of solder keeping it from sliding all the way in. So you can't see, but I've got my knee on this side. So I should be able to loosen the solder and then get it to take. You see it settle in? She just, she just set. Now it's where we want it.
Okay, this compressor has a liquid injector. And I don't know if you can see, there's an O-ring right there. So I actually just replaced that. It comes with a new one. Here's the old one that I took off when this attaches. But uh, I actually opened my vacuum pump, just get a little bit of vacuum pump oil, put it on that so that we get a nice seal. If you don't change that gasket, you don't realize it, you're gonna leak from here and that's gonna be a giant pain. So we'll get that attached. Uh, we're gonna get that attached, put our gauges on, pump some nitrogen into the system, leak check it. And then we should be able to start pulling a vacuum. All right, we're running nitrogen into the system. I'm actually not worried about the brazes because I could see around them very well. I could visually know they're not leaking, but I'm soaping them all up. I'm soaping up the pressure connectors. I'm soaping up the twist on liquid injector. Anywhere there's a point we could have problems. I actually wanted to make sure I close that packing nut. You know, these packing nuts leak a lot. What I'm worried about the leak isn't uh, that I can't seal it up right now. It's that it's going to mess up pulling my vacuum. All right. I mean, I got 300 PSI on the head side of this thing, 200 on the low. just pushing through. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna equalize these. I'm gonna turn off, turn off my gas. And I'm gonna let these pressures equalize. Bing, bing. I'm watching to see if there's any major degradation quickly. I know there's not a leak up here. We were at 300. This was only at about 180 and it was bleeding over. Solenoid should be closed downstairs. So it shouldn't have been pushing through the TXV or anything, but yeah, I mean, I don't have any leaks up here related to what we did. I checked the evaporator last time to make sure we didn't have to replace that. It was good. So we've got our crankcase heater back on, high pressure cutouts, no leaking. All right, we're gonna get the vacuum pump set up, let it start pulling the vacuum, and then I'll spend my time cleaning up while we're doing that so we can multitask. All right, we are in a deep vacuum. We've been here for about 40 minutes. I pulled for 40 minutes and I let it degrade for about, uh, only about 20 minutes. We are golden. Uh, new dryer, didn't video that, putting that on. So this unit does not indicate how much Freon it takes, just that it's 449, both inside and out. So we're gonna bleed it in. Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna take six or eight pounds. I'm gonna slowly bleed some gas in here snap crack a pop I'm gonna slowly bleed in a little gas then we're gonna get the unit fired up so downstairs I'm still disconnected said I'm just gonna fill it up till I get enough pressure that the unit will run when I ask it to and I'm gonna go downstairs and turn on the breaker I've got my disconnect pulled here so 
So I'll probably bleed in, I don't know, four or five pounds, just so I know it can safely operate. And the moment of truth. <sighs> I always sound so winded when I shoot videos at this place. Getting to the roof sucks here. There's no building ladder. And I don't like taking that ladder. It's all it can do to get to here. That's no bueno. So I gotta put it there and then put it here. And so time I get back to the roof, I'm like, oh. all right, breakers on. Let's see what I've screwed up here. Let's give it one more look. put four pounds in it got my terminal set what the heck let's go for it uh. <laughs> other than I lost the disconnect that's cute kicked it under the unit all right so when i put this in compressor should start fans should start i'm definitely going to be low on gas i'm going to get over there and fill it by the side glass three two one don't blow up Woo, shoot water. all right side glass real low here we go leading in juice I didn't grossly underquote the amount of gas this is going to take. Alright, you don't need to sit here and watch this happen. I'll fill you up, fill you in on uh, how this ends up. We're almost at seven. Yeah, it's not going to be bad. It's probably going to be eight pounds. down watch our pressures run make sure our TXV is doing good downstairs we don't have weird superheat just so you can see we're getting real close downstairs is 70 degrees right so all right we're gonna let her run see how she plays catch up with you in a few
Let's see, yeah, she's chilling. Okay. I'm gonna wait for it to satisfy and make sure it can hit. I think negative seven might be what it's set for. Let's see. Negative 15, that ain't gonna happen. Could be part of the problem. You're running a negative 20 coil, so in theory you could hit negative 15, but these are supposed to be between zero and 10 below. Delicious. It pulled down to negative seven and satisfied. Delicious. Let's go clean up up top. All right, I'm having a struggle bus moment here. Unit pulled down to seven below. It's satisfied, but I came upstairs. It was still running. So it's a pressure control issue. That thing responds to the pressure. So when the suction pressure gets shut off, pardon me, uh, it kills the unit. No, it is calling right now, and we're running at. 12 PSI, but the reality is once the box gets to be five below, this is operating at like five or six PSI. So it's a real struggle to get it, plus being a scroll compressor, when it pumps down, it doesn't actually pump down to zero, right? I mean, it, it rises back up to about 25 or 30 PSI. So you've got it cutting in at 30, and you're trying to get this, which isn't super precise, to cut out at 28 so that it doesn't run itself negative and damage the compressor. So I've been up here for a hot minute just trying to play that game. Also, it, uh, it smoked the potential relay. It, it ran and pulled down and started and stopped a few times and then the potential relay, the fans are running and not the compressor. So I tested the relay was bad. There happens to be a United refrigeration right down the way. I called my guy and, you know, kind of shame on them, but shame on me when I, this is a exact replacement compressor, but this compressor didn't come with star components. Well, this relay, is what is meant for that compressor. This one is meant for the other one. Even though they're the same compressor, they've switched to that relay. So I had them also check the capacitor. That is the same, it's a 40, so I don't have to change that, so we're good. So it's up and running again. Like I said, I know we're calling, but look. This is a freezer that runs at 10 below downstairs. So, you know, running a negative 30 suction pressure is hard to manage. Uh, I actually hooked up, because this is 449, so I hooked up my gauges to that unit, and it was doing the same. It was running at about 6 PSI, and you can look. Cut in at 30, cut out at 28. So these units legitimately are running Five or six PSI, which just feels way too low to me. But I'm not a I'm not a 449A guy, and also this is just an ultra low cooler, like ultra low freezer. It's all you can do. So I'm gonna set the set point for about negative six. That way she satisfies more often. But so I'm gonna let this pull down and satisfy. Make sure she shuts off, doesn't short cycle. The short cycling is the death of the compressor. No damage on my new compressor. Look at that thing operate at six PSI. That is just mind blown to me. You gotta really juggle these pressure controls. I'm not surprised it lost that compressor. I told you this thing smoked the relay. 
me show you what I mean. The inside is all burnt up. <clears throat> what it's designed to do is the capacitors are engaged here and here. Okay? The capacitors are engaged here and here completing the circuit and they're giving it a lot of extra juice to get it started. Then when uh, the common recognizes that there's voltage there, it energizes this, which is supposed to activate that, pull this away and you can see it then separates and breaks the leg separating the contactors. If it doesn't do that, just smokes it. Okay, finally got it. What a beast. Trying to play with it. It's satisfied. It's cutting in at like 38 degrees or 38 PSI and it's cutting out at 36 uh, differential. So it literally pumps down to two. And then it cycles about twice because of the line set. So it pumps down, it satisfies, shuts off comes back on a minute later, draws that last little bit of refrigerant out. Now she's off until she is calling again. Boy. Yeah, the big part, the compressor change, that stuff, that was less headache than trying to get this sorted out. Running at six PSI. Yeah, she just called again. Beautiful.